Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so excited you are here. If you're new, uh, welcome. I really hope you will enjoy watching this video and my other videos and consider to stick around. I'm always very excited when I do collaboration videos, so I am extremely excited right now because I am doing a group collaboration video and the theme of this collaboration is Summer Living Room Refresh. The creator of this challenge is Heidi Sambel from Happily Thriving Heidi and if you uh, are not familiar with her channel, you guys have to go check it out. She is amazing. Her channel is full of DIYs and also full of uh, renovation videos. She is renovating her house one room at a time and I'm always amazed with the finished product. She is very, very talented. I'm sure you guys are gonna love her channel. So beside me, there's 11 other ladies who are doing this collaboration. All of them are amazingly talented. Uh, they have wonderful channels, uh, very similar to mine, and they all have a bunch of DIYs. So please check them out. There is going to be a link uh, for the playlist in the description box down below and all of them will upload their living room refresh videos in that playlist so you can uh, find them all at one place. Okay, let's get started. So this is how my living room used to look like. It is pretty simple. We moved into this house six months ago and ever since then we try to add new furniture pieces and put everything together but it still looks very simple and another reason for that is because we have a toddler in the house and we need to keep everything as simple as possible. So I decided to do a couple of DIYs and use things that I already have in the house to make decoration pieces and there's also one thing that we added to this living room and I'll talk about it a little bit later. So the first thing that I wanted to change was this big candle holder that I got a couple years back on a yard sale for $2 and I never liked really this color so I thought right now is a perfect time to change it. So I'm using my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint to paint it all and then after that I'm gonna distress it. After I was finished with distressing it, I am using my uh, clear satin polyurethane to seal it. I wanted to do exactly the same thing with these two picture frames I already had on hand. I didn't like the color so I'm gonna be using the same uh, white chalk paint and I'm gonna distress them afterwards. And the third project that required paint was this uh, big mason jar that I'm gonna be using later as a vase. So we got these uh, five cube organizers, two of them from Walmart and ever since uh, moving into this house we knew we wanted to get um, shelves for our living room but we couldn't find the ones that we liked. So finally we found ones that matched our uh, TV console and we purchased two of them. It was very easy to assemble as you can see our daughter helped, she really really enjoyed helping us. We assembled these two in probably 30 minutes and they were very reasonably priced. We paid $50 for one. But before I show you how they look like in our living room, I'm going to show you how I did two more DIYs. I had leftovers of artificial flowers from Dollar Tree 
and I decided I'm gonna take the petals off and I'm gonna use them to attach them to branches that I already had on hand, uh, leftovers from Easter. I had a fabric laying around uh, that I bought on a yard sale. It was probably half of a roll and I paid a dollar for it. So I decided I'm gonna sew a two new pillowcases for our pillows. So here they are. I'm gonna put the pillows um, inside of the pillowcases. I made envelope pillowcases. They're the easiest to make. I also wanted to change up our uh, throw blanket, but I couldn't find the lighter uh, blanket that is in a white color that I wanted. So I decided to keep this one as it is. So in a jar that I painted earlier, I'm putting a little bit of rice just so it can hold the branches in place and it's easier to um, assemble it. And now it's time to put everything together. The first thing I'm gonna do is to clean my mantel. I found a white candle in our thrift store that I put on this candle holder and it was only a dollar, so I was very excited about that. And since our picture on this mantle is very colorful, I decided to keep the decorations neutral. I added a little uh, decoration for 4th of July. These three little glasses that are leftovers from candles. I filled up with colorful rice and I put the a tea candle in the middle. So this is how the shelves look like. We are very happy how they fit into our living room. So now I'm gonna clean them and add some decorations to them. As you can see, we do not have a coffee table. We're still searching for a perfect one. And until then, we're just gonna keep it open as it is because our kids like to play over here on that rug. And for now, this works for us. Overall, I'm very happy with all the changes I've made. My husband is very pleased with the decorations 
and I am happy um, the way my living room looks like now. It's definitely refreshed and it feels like new. You enjoyed watching this video and i hope you liked how i changed up my living room i'm really happy how it turned out uh, hope this gave you some kind of idea of what can you do just to refresh your space and change it up a little bit don't forget to check out the playlist in the description box down below so you can see what other ladies did with their living room space if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it would mean a lot to me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!